Kanban combined with 4 Jira data center offer extensive feature for your Kanban board. It allows you to combine the column of your Kanban board, define explicit policies, customize your Kanban background, and you can make your cards more colorful with the help of this app. You can also set the swim lanes whip and much more. Let's delve deeper and explore the capabilities of this app. This is my Kanban marketing board and I will click on this Can Whip. When you will install this app, you will be able to see this option. Click on Kanban Whip and here you can see we have the multiple options which are coming from this app. We will start from the combined Whip, how you can combine the column in your Kanban board. For this, you will go and click on the configure. Then here after that, you will go to the columns. And in the columns, what you have to do, you have to prefix this column with the name and this symbol. Like this, I'm giving the name dev and I am making the prefix of the column name like this. And here is ready for QA. So I will write like this. Okay, let's scroll a little bit horizontally and then QA this one. Okay, now what I will do, I will go back to the board here. I will click on go back to board. And here you can see the two columns selected for development and in progress combined inside the dev column here. And like this in a QA, ready for QA and in QA is in the QA. So this is how you can combine the column of your board. Now we will move to the next option, which is card colors. When you will click on the card colors here, you can see the colors of your card. How you will do it when you will go to the board and click on the configure and then you will click on the card colors and here you can see we have the color based on the priority so when you will choose a method for assigning the colors to your card this app will take those colors and will show here in your board like this if you don't want to show then you can simply uncheck this box like this and if you want then you can do like this now we will go to our next feature which is explicit policies when we will click on explicit policies here we have an option to add the policies you can click and enter your explicit policies here when you will click here you can see we have the option to add the table and the any other if you want to add like if you want to make it layout link and something like that you can make your text bold italic and underline strike through whatever you want to do in your explicit policy so you can write down let's suppose i'm writing testing explicit policy right like this you can do it and then save so this is the way how you can add your explicit policies with the help of this app now the next option is wider collapsed and expand the column how you will do it when you will click on the wider then you can see there is a horizontal bar your Kanban board looks wider. You can make your things more better. You can see your Kanban board in more space. The next feature is collapsed and expand. Let's suppose I don't want to make it wider. I can uncheck it like this and I want to collapse or maybe I want to expand my column. So like this, you can see when you will click on collapsed and expand here, we have some cross icons. Let's suppose I don't want to have this ready for QA and I don't want even this release one I don't want this in progress so like this I can do it and I don't want the explicit policies so I can make it like this okay so here you can see in my board I have the backlog selected for development and in QA I have removed some columns it doesn't mean like they deleted permanently no when you will go here and will click on the reset collapse then all the columns are back here you can see ready for development release is also here it means they are not deleted permanently from your board if you don't want to make it like you can go and you can uncheck it this collapse and expand will remove it from here so i can check it like this and you can see there is no cross icon in the column we have our most interesting feature which is background you can customize your background with the help of this Kanban combined whip. When you will click on the select personal email, you have an option. You can put the URL here, maybe which image you want in your background, or you can choose from gallery. Let's suppose I want to choose it here and then I can make save. Wow, it's looking beautiful. Your Kanban board is looking like a Trello board. 
and if you want to remove this personal image you can simply go and remove it and there is also one option which is enable personal image when you will select a personal image maybe this one okay save so you can enable and disable this image with the help of this option just like you can select image is here and when you will disable it image has gone so this is also a cool option where you can enable and disable your personal image from a board now in the swim lanes you can see max 2 and here you can see max 13 so from where they are coming you will go and click on board and then you will click on configure here when you will come in the configuration of the board you will click on the swim lanes and here you will find this option swim lane whip limits when you will click on swim lane whip limits you can set the swim lane whip limits here right now for the expedite i have two and for everything else i have 13 if you want to increase and decrease then you can do it and click on save and when you will come to the board here you can see your swim lane sweep max 3 and the max 11 this is how we can set the swim lane whip with the help of this app if you haven't tried this app yet then please try this app today for free